Alright, today we're going to do a quick tutorial on, well, how you use analog gear, simple analog gear, nothing crazy, with Reaper. I've had a lot of problems in the past trying to figure out how to root signal and all this other nonsense. So I'm going to show you how I do it and tell me if it's a better way, please let me know. So first step, let's say I want to take this vocal vocal and I have a vocal print here. All right, let me just delete this so we're gonna start from the beginning. We're gonna take our vocal, we're gonna insert a new track. Then we're gonna take this original vocal and we're gonna route that to the new print track. Then you're gonna go into the effects on the original vocal track and you're gonna insert reinsert. So you know where your stuff goes through, everyone's is different. I'm sending mine out of output 5, so I make both my left and right channel output 5. And on the back of my focus right interface, I'm going to make my input return 5. I just like to keep them like that just because it's a little bit easier this way to remember things. So once that's done, I take off automatic device latency and I wait until I'm sending signal through it before I actually ping detect because if not it doesn't actually register then on the new track I right click on the record arm button and I remove monitor input I right click again and I input monitor track media when recording after that so it's kind of a process then I go to input selection I record output, mono, not latency compensated, just mono. This seems to work for me no problems. I go to my mono mix, and then my input is 5. That's where it's coming into, remember, in the back of your interface. Just make sure that your lead vocal is out of the master send. Always take it out of the master send, because if not, you can have like feedback issues, or it'll double sound, it sounds like crap. So you take it out of the master send. So... Let's just double check everything's right. Our lead vocal is out of the master send. It is being sent to track 25, which is this new track. Let's label this one. Vocal print. Just to keep it simple. All right, so now that's going. Everything's great. So we're just going to do a test. So now we're going to arm that. Here, play. So we're just gonna keep it these two. So there comes our sound. So now we can mess around. Now I've tried it all different other ways with with um. Reaper, and this is the only way I get it to sound good. So let's say you get your sound the way you like it. Now, obviously, this is not how I would do it. This is just for an example purposes. So you can see it's everything's running through. There's our vocal print. There's no feedback issues. Hit space. I go to the back. Let's say you like it. I go to my FX, ping detect. Sometimes it doesn't register. Alright, so that was ridiculous. So that's definitely not how much latency there is. Alright, let's just say that is. As long as you just uncheck automatic device latency, you shouldn't have any problems. And you do your pin detect, it'll send a signal through it. And then you can print. So then let's say you like it. Oh, 
I see. I, that's probably why. Oh, okay. So here's a good example. See, there's an incident here. I have reinsert coming through already. So we're going to take that off, make sure we don't have reinsert on anything else, which we should. So the reinsert was like freaking out. See, there you go. See, there was a little issue. We just solved it. I was wondering why it wasn't running through and giving my uh, delay compensation. So it won't do it if you already have reinsert on another channel coming through the same send and output. Let me return. All right, so we troubleshoot that, figured it out. So let's uh, double check it real quick. All right, cool. All right, so simple. Go back, record. So now it's coming out of this channel, going through all the stuff, and we're linking them up virtually through reinsert. And here's reinsert. And then I try to gain match them as best as I can. I mean, right now this is just for example purposes, just so you can figure this out. This took me forever to solve. And it was very stressful trying to figure out how to get my my equipment to work and how to print it and all this other stuff. And really it was mostly this monitor input option. It would just sound horrible. Like there was just like this weird double delay and and you know feedback and it was terrible so I hope to help somebody that's trying to figure this out and if you have another better way of doing it please reach out to me let me know and uh, we'll try from there thanks for watching this is from Nick Barrett Studios